Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Today's update is a little bit sort of, it feels like two steps forward and one step back this week. Um, because last week you'll remember that I was filling System 2 and I'd hoped to have System 2 up and running by now but as you can see it's still got no water in it. Uh, and that's because what happened uh, is that on Monday last week, so just after I posted the video, I filled up these tanks with water. As I said, I, I filled them up first with um, just RO water and then drained them down completely. And then I will, and, and obviously once they've been drained down completely, I then refill them with mad salt. It's just to get any of the sort of residue that's left behind. Now, when I filled them, the tank here, now this tank here had a very significant leak. Uh, we water tested all the tanks previously, but what we found, or what I found when I was by myself, uh, was that the uh, the drain for this tank leaked significantly. As you can see how close the Radeon lights are to that leak. Now, fair play to uh, to the to the Radeon lights. I don't know if they're meant to be um, if they're meant to be splash proof, but there was quite a significant amount of water uh, on the back one. And as you can see, it's still it's still working as good as good as new, which is very lucky because uh, originally, obviously, the lights didn't go up until we had tested all the pipe work, but then for whatever reason, that, that connection there just didn't, um, it just didn't hold. So as you can see, James was back yesterday and he's, uh, he's put plenty of sealant around it. So it wasn't until today that I drained the tanks down and then now the water that's going in here is the final water that will go in. So uh, as you can see, the racks, uh, unfortunately they've got the legs for the racks. I've spoken to the, the company that are doing the racks and they're meant to be here on uh, Tuesday, I believe. So that's that's good. But obviously, as I said, with with this, it's almost been it's been a bit of a setback. Uh, Eagle-eyed viewers will notice that the floor has been done, which makes the room look way more professional. It's um, I absolutely love the floor. Uh, it was done by a company called Silverdale Flooring um, in East Grinstead. Uh, now the owner actually is a reef keeper himself. So when um, when obviously he saw uh, that uh, that I needed a floor done. Uh, he um, uh, he got in contact, and uh, and as you can see, they have done a very very good job. So I'm I'm very happy with that. The last thing that needs to be done is the stand. I just I don't want cabinets. Originally I thought I wanted cabinets, but I don't want cabinets. I realised because I actually quite like being able to see everything. But I would like to have it sort of clad in something, even if it's like the same uh, PVC as the walls. But I think that would be a real nightmare to do. So I'm not 100% sure what to do with that yet, but I um, I would like the wood clad in something just so it looks a bit nicer. While James was here, there was two other small, uh, I'm looking for more of like quality of life things now rather than necessities. Uh, so I had a, uh, a nice towel rail uh, put in, which is essential. Uh, I've only just realized that James, uh, he'll probably watch this video, has installed it upside down. So, uh, <laughs> because the bottom, I did, yeah, there's no screw in the bottom, which means that's, that's been installed, installed upside down, but let these things happen. Um, and then the other quality of life thing I've done, remember in one of my other videos, I mentioned that uh, I really, really want a light for the, um, uh, for the saw. Well, I've now got a, um, a light switch there and a light switch is adjustable that I can obviously change the angle to. And, uh, and I, I used it for the first time yesterday. Now this is all going to be cleared up soon. Uh, obviously the salt's ready, so that'll be gone. That'll all be in there. I'm going to need all of that salt, I think. So this is the only place that I might have some sort of cabinet. But we'll see. We'll see. As I said, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the stand yet. So if you've got any recommendations, obviously, let me know. And as you can see, there's no more, there's no more dosing pipes hanging down, which is nice because they are... Because James had to had to go back to university, the so lines were installed. So because I am not as good as James, I literally just had it going from there, hanging down here and into the barrels. Whereas now they've been properly installed with them, um, and uh, it goes up, up there, across there, up there in the roof, and then down the other side uh, to be dosed into the tank. And then there's one other quality of life thing which I've done, which is I have removed all the filter socks from here because it's just, it's just a pain having to clean them. It, I've, not, I've never actually had filter socks on any of the tanks other than the Red Sea one. So I've always used filter floss previously, so I wasn't quite prepared for how annoying they are to clean. So I, um, 
and even on the Red Sea one, I've, now, I've taken the, the field socks out and replaced them with um, like the plastic cups which you can put field floss in. Now I've run out of field floss, which is why it's only half half done. But what what we've done is we have, or well, you can see, you can see here, we've replaced it with egg crate, and then this is how dirty it gets in in it's less than a day, so less than 24 hours, and it's got that dirty. So you can imagine how often I had to how I had to clean the filter socks. So uh, that is something that's easy just to to whip out and replace. The only thing that I have noticed, and it might be because obviously it's not fully sealed is that it's a little bit noisier in here than it was previously so so that's that and then obviously the ro barrel is literally just it's just filling up for uh, for system two now so this will definitely have water in it by what well, as i said it's got water in it already but it will definitely be full and running i thought i'd put all the lights on just to to show you what it's like it's, uh, it really adds to the room. Now with the, with the black floor and obviously all the lights on, it, it's, uh, the room's starting to feel a lot more finished than it, than it has ever done previously. So yeah, as I said, there isn't, there's not a lot with regards to coral to show you. I did get a shipment, but it's, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't a very a good one, if I'm honest. I have updated the website with other corals, which I got from ages ago. And uh, so there's, there, is, there are, there are some, some nice corals for you to... Uh, to look at. And while on the topic of updating the website, uh, in the last video I had an idea where the, the obviously many of you know I have a Patreon account where people can help support the channel, uh, but they just donate one dollar per video or whatever because YouTube doesn't pay a lot of money. I make about 15 to 20 dollars uh, for a video that gets like 4,000 views, which is, um, which is obviously, it's not a huge amount of money uh, considering the time it takes to run a YouTube channel. So some of these people have been supporting the channel for years and I've always wondered what I could do to give something back to them because obviously I was making the videos for free so it was difficult to give them something extra. And so what I realized in the last video was that I could give them essentially early access to the corals on the website, uh, which has actually done, it's gone pretty well because today, for example, I updated the website and some of the corals that went on there are reasonably rare and I've only got a couple of pieces. And, um, and those pieces have, have now sold because, uh, to, to the people that are on Patreon. And then this evening, or when this video goes out, uh, everyone else will, be, will, will know that the website's been updated, if you see what I mean. So um, it, uh, it makes a big difference, because if, if 100 people donate $1, or 1,000 people donate $1, it's, uh, it, it really does make a huge difference. And from the, the feedback I got from the patrons already, uh, that bought corals this morning, it, uh, it was well worth it for them. So, I know, not, I know not everyone will like it, but it's, um, as I said, it's, it's something that I can give back to you guys, if you see what I mean, for, for it, unfortunately it's only in the UK. Um, I know a lot of the patrons are from uh, America, but uh, I, uh, unfortunately I can't ship to you. So um, it's, uh, it's a shame really, but it is what it is. And then finally, with regards to the fish and coral, I don't have a huge update for you, unfortunately, because, um, they, I did get a shipment in, but it didn't do very well, uh, which is unfortunate because it was quite expensive. Uh, the weather was too cold. It was minus six, which is, I believe, was one of the coldest times it's ever been uh, here, and um, or in, the, well, in this part of the UK. And um, the uh, some of the corals didn't didn't make it. So I do have a, uh, a significant amount of corals coming in next week. Uh, and then hopefully, obviously, that system will be fully up and running by next week because what I'll do is I'll move some of these corals over to this system. I keep changing my mind with regards to what I want to do with this system. Uh, last time I mentioned I wanted to have zoas in here and stuff like that, I don't... I think what happens is, like, as you get new coral, you just start to fill it up. And then obviously what's happened here is that this has been the SPS section and then, well, mostly SPS, and then this has been the LPS section. Um, so I think that as, as new corals come in, uh, I think what will happen is that uh, as and when the orders come in, I'll just I'll put, I'll put fill one tank at a time, and then gradually move move them over. Because um, but just look how pretty it looks. It's uh, this is I think this is the first time you've seen all the lights on. <laughs> one day I will do what I promised, where I put all of the um, all of the disco mode on all the lights. But it might be a. Uh, it might be after lockdown, just in case people think I've opened a nightclub in my garage. Right, that's it for today, guys. Sorry it's been like short and brief uh, and rushed, but uh, unfortunately I've got somewhere to be this afternoon. So, but I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to let you down. And as I said, there has been stuff to, to show you. I, can you believe that this protein skimmer has been cleaned, I think, three times 
since uh, since uh, it was installed. And although it does look dirty, it works like a dream. It's uh, because obviously it all goes down the drain automatically. It's uh, like it, like I hardly ever have to clean it. And it's, it's it actually takes out a, a uh, it takes out a whole a whole cup of skimmate every day, which to some extent is causing me a problem because I can't get any nutrients in the system. So I am dosing this at the moment. This is not sponsored or anything uh, to increase nitrate. And then this, uh, obviously, which is baby pets, is uh, I was I wasn't using that food originally, uh, and again, it's not sponsored. It's uh, but I, I heard good things about it, so I, I picked it up from the shop. And uh, the fact that it's so, it's so fine, there is a definite noticeable difference with regards to using that food and some uh, and other different foods. So I was, um, I've, been, I've been very pleasantly surprised with that, because sometimes you hear things and they don't live up to expectations. But with regards to that, it, uh, it really does, it has done very well for me. So, right. Anyway, as I said, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. I just want to say, obviously, thank you to everyone on the sports channel on Patreon. And uh, have a good week, and I will see you next time.